Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a quick reflection shot. The first thing you want to do is take your base layer and duplicate that. So you're going to hit Command J. This is going to duplicate that layer so you have two copies of it. You're going to take that top layer and you're going to hit Command T. That's going to put you into free transform mode. That's going to allow you to move that layer around. Once you do that, right click it and click flip vertical. Then you'll just move that down, change your opacity a little so you can see where you're lining it up. And then we're just going to line up the wheels and then hit enter to apply that transformation. Change it back to 100% and then we're going to go down here and click on this layer mask. You're going to get your brush tool and painting it black because we have a white layer mask and we want to hide this piece. We're going to paint right across here to get rid of that bottom layer. Let's move our opacity up all the way for right now. Make your brush a little bit smaller as you get closer to the area. So now that's completely masked off the car. And as you can see, we need to move up just a little bit. So we'll get our selection tool here and we'll arrow up. Go back to the mask, select our brush tool again, still painting it black. We'll go in here and just delete around here. Now the other thing you want to do is delete some of this area here. If you want to make it look more like a puddle rather than a, just 100% reflection. And then we'll change the opacity a little bit just so we kind of fade that in. All right, so now what we want to do is go select the layer, not the mask, go up to filter, click on blur, and we'll just do a simple Gaussian blur on this. Um, for this photo, it looks like, you know, 10 to 12, 15%, something right in there looks pretty good so we'll go ahead and apply that basically what you want to do is this is a reflection so it wouldn't be as sharp as the top and then what we'll do is we'll just lower the opacity a little bit so it's a little bit darker so you can see some of that asphalt coming through the bottom and then you can just refine your mask a little bit if you want to if you want to fade it out some more here because if you look at shadows, they get darker as it's further away. So then, before, after, you can see I missed some stuff in here. So we'll just go ahead and paint that away. So there it is. Quick and easy how to make a quick and dirty reflection in Photoshop. Another thing you can do if you want to make it look a little bit more real is you can go to you can search for like water ripples and if you just drag this into photoshop click ok and then you do the same steps so we'll hit the v tool to move that we'll hit command t and this time if you hold down command it lets you move these anchor points so we want to try to get the perspective right so we're going to drag this out so it's in line with the with the ground level. As you can see, we're pretty close there. And then we'll hit enter. And then we're going to change this to screen. So what that does is that gets rid of the blacks and just shows the, the whites. So we'll lower the opacity of that. And then what we can do is we can copy, if we hit option, we can drag that layer mask from that piece and it makes a copy. So now that is on that layer and we can change the opacity just a little bit. So then it just puts some texture in there and you can also do this. This is another tool that might help. You hit command T again. If you go into this one, 
this icon right here in Command T lets you move those pieces of the free transform. And then just hit that. So there you go. Quick and easy way to make reflections.